Hi friends! Today we are going to do my TBR for the 24 hour rereadathon. <laughs> Hour re readathon is a readathon that I'm co hosting with my friend Kate Cavanaugh, who I will link in the description box down below, as well as on the cards if you would like to check out Kate's channel. And I will also link the video that explains the whole the whole thing. Basically, it's 24 hours of rereading some of your favorite books, or I guess you could reread a book you didn't like, but why would you do that? That would be crazy. Also, forgive me for this hair. Like it's a mess but also on another level as I stare at myself in the viewfinder I feel like with this hair all I would need are some glasses chains and like me and Lindsay and Lizelle could be some weird ass form of witchy triplets. I don't know it's a thing. Anyway speaking of witches I have two trilogies that I want to reread during the readathon and the first of them is the Hex Hall series by Rachel Hawkins and it is Hex Hall, Demon Glass, and Spellbound. So I read these I think in 2018. They're deceptively very heavy. Like they're very small books but they're really heavy. This series follows Sophie who learns when she's 12 that she's actually a witch and as she progresses in her witchdom and kind of starts to fuck things up a lot, she gets sent to this boarding school that is a reform school for the progeny of the magical, therefore witches, warlocks, werewolves, and vampires. And technically there is only one vampire in the school and it happens to be Sophie's roommate. She is the first vampire ever let into the school. Well, as Sophie gets there she makes enemies with the mean girls and she has a crush on a cute warlock and suddenly there's maybe a murder afoot and the main suspect of that murder happens to be Sophie's roommate and the series follows all of that encompassing a lot of magic going awry, um, a whole magical um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a cabinet? Like the the people who are in control? There's like a whole society of magic people that are in control of all of the things. It's got a lot of societal issues, which you know is my thing when I read. So I love this trilogy. There is a fourth book that follows another character that we meet during this series, but I think it was also supposed to be a trilogy and only the first book got published. So I've never picked it up. Um, because I know that Brianna has read it and she said that it doesn't have like a definitive ending and so therefore I don't want to pick that up because I don't want to be cut off in the midst of amazingness. So Hex Hall Trilogy will be reread. The other books that I want to read are also a trilogy and that is the Hunter series by Mercedes Lackey and that is Hunter, Elite, and Apex. I originally read the series I think in 2017 or 2018. I don't remember exact dates. I could have looked that up for you but that would be too much work. This series follows Joy O'Charmond who lives in a world, it's our world after a major catastrophe where the barrier between our world and the other world has been ripped apart and basically monsters have invaded our world and just destroyed everything. And this takes place several thousands of years later after people have kind of gotten civilizations back together. And there are people called hunters who who can control these other world beasts. They are sometimes referenced to as dogs for lack of a better term. A lot of them take a very dog shape um, when they are sent to our world and basically the hunters can control those other world creatures and they help defeat monsters in our world to keep the humans safe. So Joy is able to control this pack of other world demon dogs if you will Typically in this world anyone who has the control are rounded up and sent to like large cities to protect the people who live in the cities because they're special. Whereas Joy is kind of hidden by this monastery on this hill and they basically say like if you get taken you know we're all gonna die. Well Joy gets found out, she gets sent to this big city and she is put on this show that's essentially kind of like reality TV show where they follow the hunters and like videotape them taking down these monsters in order to make the people in the city feel safe and really they're not that safe. And she meets some friends along the way, she meets some enemies along the way. I have one of my all-time favorite characters is in the series. Um, it's not Joy, it's a different character. But one of my favorite characters of all time is in the series. I absolutely love it. I adore this series and I cannot wait to read it again. 
So that's it for me for the readathon. Um, I plan to read the Hex Hall trilogy and the Hunter trilogy. Will I be able to read more than six books in 24 hours? I don't know. Will I be able to read six books in 24 hours? I also don't know. Um, I have the audiobooks for all of these so I will um, be able to switch back and forth between audio and regular format. So just depends on what I need for the time I need it. Um, I've got lots of options available to me and if for some reason I am able to finish all of these I will probably start rereading. Hmm, what would I reread after this and this? Oh I know. Um, where are you? Here you are. The Trill Trilogy by Amanda Hawking. I love this series. There's three books in a trilogy. There's a trilogy and then a trilogy and then another trilogy. There's nine books in the series. I love Amanda Hawking. So if I finish all six of those in a world where that will never happen, I will start on these in this series because I want to reread it. Okay, that's it. That's, that's five trilogies I have to pick from, I think. We're gonna be okay. I've got plenty to read. So like let me know in the comments below if you are taking part in the rereadathon. Again if you want more information it's in the description box down below. You can check out my video for Monday and you'll get all of the information that you need. Let me know if you're gonna participate. Let me know if you are doing a TBR video. Make sure you tag me in it so I can check it out. Um, there will be a bunch of other information on the other video so check all of that out. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, 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 ooh.